Hi everyone. I have 10 things to show you today on Viv Mom Sews January 2020 makes. However, I am thinking that this video could be better right out of the gate before we even get started. I still haven't dyed my hair. I bit off all my fingernails and I didn't start sewing until January 18th. Now, what is that? You know those report cards when you were in school and there was that category uses time wisely? Yeah, I think I got real low marks there. But let's think positive. Let's get on with it. I'll show you what I made. I'll tell you a little bit about it. And then I will list all of my patterns in the description box. I hope you're having a good day and we're sailing into a weekend. Woo! I'll be right back. I need tops. So I pulled out new look 6435. It's just for knits. And I decided to make this little tunic. So the fabric is lemons and polka dots. Couldn't be cuter, right? It's a very straightforward construction. We have a little skirt on this top that has, what do you call that? Like a shark bite hem. I'm not sure what the technical name of the hem is. They call the pattern easy, and I would agree with that. I think it is suitable for beginners. This is a double brushed poly knit. So, so comfortable, very soft. Now I got it from So So English and there were some errors on the fabric, but they ran along the edges and it was just not a problem. So there is this little top and I think it's a winner and you get leggings in this pattern too. In keeping with making more tops, this is new look 6603. I had my eye on it and I thought, well, this could be tricky. It could look maternity, but I don't think it does. And anyways, I'm too old. I'm too old for maternity and if people can't figure that out. So here is what it looks like. It's very, I chose a gauze and so it's very light. The pattern calls for the bodice to be lined and I just didn't want to do that. I wanted to keep it light all the way through. So I made some facings to go on the v-neck. I added just a little bit more to this seam here and sewed it shut. And the reason I did that is because they call for rouleaus and buttons and so that you can unbutton it here I guess to get it on or and off or for decoration but it slides on and off just fine I did sew some purple buttons there I went ahead and put the ties on I put elastic in the sleeves now my sleeves ended up right there at the elbow so that could be potentially aggravating um, none of them have gathered sleeves, but I thought that leaving them floaty would be a little too much. And then the other thing I did was finish it with a very subtle trim at the bottom. So that is New Look 6603. And I'm really happy with my new boots. They're leather, they came with the tags still on them. They're by a brand called Me Too. And I got them for 24 bucks on eBay. So that makes me happy. <laughs> Here we have Butterick 5185. It's a little twisty tie tunic. It is out of print. And we have Vogue 9131. I like this pants pattern. And as soon as I had decided to make it out of the lemon fabric, I could not stop that train. So I had to do it. Here is 
my lemon pants, my lemon fabric pants. Now, this is just a quilting cotton from Hobby Lobby. And so obviously the outfit is a little more spring, summer, but the pants fit great. I sewed them in a size 12 and um, then I add a little up at the waist and this waist is a tad bit loose. Now it's got a, um, it's got a fly, it's a rather short fly, about five inches maybe. And I put a button on instead of, I think they want you to do a hook and eye. So the top is a good sew, as these things often do. This one's a little low cut. And then around the armholes, I didn't want to lose any of the armholes by turning them in with a facing or with a binding. So I just used double fold bias binding and just sort of slid the fabric in between them and stitched around. And then I get a good fit on the armholes and they're not gaping open. So if you ever want to save your armholes, you can do that. Here's the back of the pockets. And hey, if it gets chilly out, well, we can reach for Quick Sew 3693. This is a basic toss on cardigan four knits. I chose a navy blue ponty knit and I'll show it to you with my outfit. It comes up and it hugs your neck. This was easy to sew. Uh, I may have taken the sleeves in just a little bit and quick sew, you often size down. They're rather generously sized. Now I may stick a little snap right there or even a little white button. I thought that would be a cute way of closing it up. So anyway, here is the whole thing together, the ensemble, and I do have pockets in my pants. The cardigan does not have them. I'll be right back. Brad thinks this tunic is too long. And he's right, it's pretty darn long. Uh, 6529 New Look. I don't think it's too long. I kind of like it that length. It's almost like a mini dress, isn't it? Well, this was my Fabric Mart make for January out of this super cool Polar Tech fabric that is sheer. So it's a fleece, but it's sheer. I happen to love it. I am very, very prone to overheating and I don't get hot in this fabric, unless it keeps me warm. So I have two temperatures, freezing cold, boiling hot. And this top, well, I don't know. It's kind of like a magic top. I put little thumb holes in it here at the cuffs. I guess that's kind of trendy. Although I did it for Brad in a shirt that I made him and he loves it because he puts his thumb in before he puts his coat on. So that is new look 6529, absolutely toasty warm. I turned their pocket placement upside down. I just didn't like how it looked on there. And I added some little flourishes. I did some hand stitching on the pocket. This is bias binding around the hem and just a little bit of ribbon embellishment for the hood. Here we have Quick Sew 4014. This is a knit top and I have paired it with McCall's. 6994. This is a learn to sew skirt, pull-on skirt for knits. And here's what we have got. I fell in love with this tie-dye fabric when I saw it at Fabric Mart and I bought it. Wasn't sure what I was going to do with it. 
the colors were a little bit tricky and then I thought well it's a dramatic print maybe something on the lower half and I thought I can make a top to go with it and so I made the little quick sew tunic that has color blocking this purple part is a sweater knit and this brown caramel color is kind of like a thick ity knit and then i cropped it and the way that i sewed it with those two lines of stitching there kind of makes it look i don't know almost like a sweatshirt and i really like that i was not going to put the waistband on the skirt i was going to do the old sew the elastic right to the skirt but I'm so glad I put the waistband on it because it fits on beautifully and it gives it a nice flat elastic finish. And so here it is. I can wear both of these pieces with something else if I want to. And I really love them. I recommend both patterns. 1969, paging 1969. Come in, Simplicity 8265. We've got a round neck, we've got bell sleeves, we have front darts, we have back darts. Now, we are supposed to also have a back zipper. But I had made this dress one time before. I did put the zipper in and I thought, I bet I can get that dress on without the zipper. Lo and behold, I could. So I left it off this time. Give it a try. What I do is I just baste shut the back seam and I try it on. If I can get it on, I just serge it closed and we're done. If I cannot get it on, it's easy enough to pick out that basting down to the notch and then apply the zipper. So this was some kind of wild fabric from Fabric Mart. It is a pure cotton, almost like a broadcloth, rather thick. And I didn't know what I was going to do with it. 1960s to the rescue. I have one more dress to show you. I'll be right back. Simplicity 8984. I could only find two other people online who had made this pattern and both of them had issues with it. I chose the long length view B and I approached with caution. So here is how my dress turned out. I absolutely loved these cottons. They came from Hancock's of Paducah. And when Brad saw them, he's like, those are gonna be together like on the same garment? Yes, they are. So there's a big band down here. It's not a ruffle, it's just a straight band. This part in here is a little bit tricky you have that you know where you reinforce the corners and you clip to the corners and you sew to the corner and pivot all of that for this um, panel in here for the neckline and the facing it is gathered here under the bust it is supposed to have bands on these cute sleeves see how they're shaped but i really didn't have enough fabric of my contrast they tell you to have one and three eighths yards and I only had one yard. So I couldn't do the cuffs, that was okay. Obviously the dress has pockets and it's very long, it's very comfortable. There are no closures on this dress. You know, they didn't make this neckline overly large so that's just a little tip, but that is Simplicity 8984. Incidentally, I found my open-toed foot extremely helpful because when you're attaching this part right in here, 
It's very easy for little tucks to form. And then you take your seam ripper and start removing them. And then you have to stitch again. So with that open-toed foot, you can see exactly where you're sewing. I'm gonna show it to you in one of my next videos. This is long enough for today. I love seeing all of you over on Joy Viv So Vintage. Sew something vintage and put it up over there. You might win $100. And besides, you'll have a cute new outfit. So thanks everybody for being here today and I'll see you again soon. Bye.